you have probably seen seasonal Instagram feeds like this from Peter McKinnon. In this video, I'm going to show you that with simple edits, you can fit a photo in one of the four seasons. Spring, summer, fall and winter. So, without further ado, let's jump into Lightroom. Before I start, I'm just going to say that for every edit, I am using this as a base. I've done some adjustments on the basic panel, tone curve and added a vignette. I'm going to start with the fall mood, if I can say that. And for this edit, first I'm going to change the hue of green and move the yellow slider towards the orange. In color grading, I'm going to add blue in the shadows and orange in the midtones. With calibration, we can do an overall adjustment to red, green and blue. Basically, we are going to change the red, green and blue in every pixel of the photo. For instance, you might not see much red on this picture, but if we open the histogram and we select here, for example, in our eyes the main color is green, but actually we have a higher percentage of red in this specific pixel. But enough with theory, let's uh, change the sliders. The blue slider is the most important for the default mood, because um, as you can see, this slider will give us this um, orange and teal look that we want. Now I'm going back to the HSL panel because uh, I think the oranges are too strong, so I'm going to desaturate just a bit and the water needs to be a bit more blue. So these are some small adjustments that you can do to achieve a, a fall vibe to your photo. This is the before and after. Now let's go to the winter edit. For the winter look, I'm actually going to start by adjusting the white balance. I want a more um, color look. In the HSL tab, I'm only going to desaturate the green and the yellow. But now this um, rocky shore looks too dark, so to balance you can add luminance to yellow and green. With color grading, I'm just going to add different types of blue in the shadows and midtones. In the shadows, a more darker blue, and in the midtones, more to the aqua. By the way, if you press Ctrl on Windows, so Command key on Mac, you can lock in the saturation and just change the U and if you press shift you can lock in the U and just select the saturation. Finally in calibration I'm not going to change the blue because it's already balanced so I'm just changing the red and the green. This is the before and after. In the spring edit, I'm not going to do a lot of changes. In the HSL panel, I'm just going to change slightly the yellow and green. In color grading, I'm going to add green in the midtones, but first I'm going to add a color tone in the shadows, but in this case more towards the purple. Finally, with calibration, I'm going to change the green and the blue. If I went to the left, the photo would start to look like the fall edit, so I'm going towards the right. This is the before and after. In this case, not much was done. Now let's go to the last edit, Summer. For the summer edit, I'm going to start by adjusting the white balance. I want to add warmth to the photo. In the HSL panel, I'm just going to change the hue of green 
and in this case I'm going to add saturation to the two main colors of the image, green and aqua. And I'm going to do the same with luminous, because I want to pretend that uh, it was a sunny day. With color grading, I'm going to add warm tones to the shadows and mid-tones, the shadows more towards the yellow, and some orange in the mid-tones. Finally, let's go to Calibration. Since this is the, the summer edit, I'm going to add saturation to the three colors. And it's done, this is the before and after. Here you have the four final edits. I hope that you liked the video and uh, if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Here you have more videos related to Lightroom. Bye!